Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, I got a lot of uh, things coming up, a lot of good things for uh, beginners and that type of thing. But something that I get a lot of is um, people being nervous of the blank page. And I know it's hard in the beginning when you are um, starting out with mixed media or anything of that nature and you have a white page, whether it be in your journal or a white canvas or blank, I mean, even a blank canvas, people get uh, a little bit, uh, what word do I want to say? You know, nervous, scared, thrown, thrown off. What do I do? What do I do? You know, and I always say throw paint down. That's your best way. Well, you know, a lot of people still get intimidated by that. And so I was thinking, people always ask me like another way, another way. So I was thinking to myself, I was looking, I have a big container of washi tape. And although I love washi tape, I don't use it nearly as much as I should. Um, I need to put it in a basket near me. But it got me thinking of uh, when I went to the dollar store, you can find uh, at most dollar stores now, even in the clearance sections, even if you make it yourself, you can find um, all kinds of different washi tapes for a dollar. You can get many. So why not take your canvas or your white paper and what I suggest to do is first find, before you get on camera, Kelly, where the washi tape starts because this is where um, having glasses but not being able to see, all right, we're just going to set that one there. Oh, ooh, look, here's an end. Okay. Um, here's something that you can do. So just take your washi tape. It, it uh, rips very easily. And start taking, you know, and you can use as little as one or as many as 20. I mean, you know, I mean, it's totally up to you. Start laying it down in no particular order. I really want that red and white one, but you see, I ripped that one off. It came off uh, wrong, but hey, would it be my video if it wasn't like that? So you, you get the point of what I'm saying. Well, I want to keep going. You're not going to. Get to me, you end. This is why my yarn's all torn apart because when it, it gets jammed up, I rip everything, I cut it. Okay. So, all right, well, that one just wants to come off like that. That's very successful. This one really loves to come off. So I'm just gonna, let's just speed through this, shall we? All right, so I'm just laying, you see how I'm doing. No rhyme or reason, you wanna lay it like this? By all means, lay it like that, okay? Sometimes you just gotta kinda go for it. And that's really, now look, if you don't have uh, washi tape, let me know down below. I can make a video of what to do with uh, masking tape or different tape to make washi tape. I can do it on the jelly plate. I can do it with, you know, whatever. There's plenty of videos out there. Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen them, but if you want me to show you, I will definitely show you how to make your own washi tape. This, however, is bothering me, so I'm going to cut it. Um, but yeah, so you see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get this. You just throw your tape down and you can make it close together. Why am I having the worst time with this tape? I know I'm not the only one in the world who has problems with this tape and the tape doesn't stick good. So it's not like it's all right. All right. Well, red and white doesn't want to be involved. I picked it because of the colors. All right. Well, we're just going to pretend like this little piece is that red and white. That's representing red and white right there. Let's move on. Okay. So you get the point. You have it on there. Um, look, I got my new heat gun sitting here. I'm so excited. But you can see it doesn't, it doesn't stick well. So, and maybe yours does. Maybe mine, all my tape doesn't because I rip it off and I'm not a friendly person with it. But then all you will do is take your white school glue or your uh, my decoupage matte medium, which I love. And then you will go in, take some of that bad boy, and just go over this once. Now, you can use your white school glue. You can use uh, Mod Podge. You can use Collage Podge. You can use, uh, there's a million different uh, gel mediums out there that you can use. And that's what a gel medium is. Uh, a lot of people get confused. Gel medium, Mod Podge, and all gel medium is just a, another word for a, uh, a glue, really. And it's in a gel form and it's wonderful. I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad thing to have, but, uh, you don't need it to do a lot of things. 
So you can see, I'm just going over and you would be more, you know, a little better doing it, but I just want to kind of let you guys see what that entails. And then after I'm done drying it, I will uh, show you what to do next. Okay, so now it's dry, but I want to show you something. I took some of my uh, decoupage out and I put it here. So this could be your white school glue, your Mod Podge, Collage Podge, you know, the whole gel medium, the whole thing. Let's say we're looking at this and we want it to have, we have our tape down, but we want to, you know, I can see some of my edges and everything up still. So what you can do is take your glue and you can do this with molding paste. You can do this with uh, any, you know, anything that dries clear or even white. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to put a little bit of black in there and then I'm going to, and this does double duty and it also helps give you a background. So I mix it all up and you do whatever color you want. I'm just doing this. So you go, you know, and I want that to, I'll push that down. So then you go and you put this all over. So we're kind of sealing everything, right? But we're adding color to the page as well. And I do this a lot of times, you know, obviously you want to make a little bit more than I did, but um, I think you get the point. And, and you can even wet your brush a little bit to kind of help it go a little bit more. You can add water to your, um, you know, your pile of uh, glue here that you did to make it a little bit uh, more liquefied. And it still will do the same thing. This needs to be glued down, glue down. And you see, and you start getting building up. And like I said, do you know, do a little bit more if if this is uh, not enough for you. You know, if you're still kind of funny about the white page or whatever. But as you can see, we're just building up different textures, and you're also sealing down your glue. So I mean, your uh, tape or paper, whatever you have, um, you're giving it another uh, great seal. Now you don't have to put the clear coat on like I did first and then do this, this could be what you do on top rather than the glue. So this just gives you another uh, suggestion and idea, you know, and again, do whatever color you want. Now I'm going to use my new heat gun because I can. Oh, I love it. It actually works too. My other one took forever. It was so old. And I put my hair dryer away for, uh, just in case time or if I have anybody come over or whatever and then they need a heat gun. So you can see we're just drawing it. Okay. I, it's white, that gun, and I love it, but I'm just like, I don't want to dirty it. All right. So let me move this in just a little bit. Need my camera to be up a little bit more. There we go. Just so you can basically see the whole page. And I also saved from Jody the paper towels that she sent because I don't like wasting. <coughs> and they're so cute. They have these little little guys and all on it. But now they're gonna have some glue and paint. And then I'm gonna do this just to get up. I don't like wasting anything. So when you guys send me stuff, I save I save uh, tissue paper and bubble wrap. I drive my family crazy. And now I have these paper towels and I was so excited. All right. So you see, and not much came up. I mean, it was basically dry, but now you have a background that you can use and it's not so terrifying with just the white page or canvas or whatever you're using. Now you can go on from here and build up and make a uh, fantastic uh, art journal page or mixed media canvas. So give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of tips. I'm gonna be doing um, a beginner beginner video and um, which I'll be sharing a lot of these things as well, but then you can go to that video to find all these things. But uh, a lot of questions I get about this stuff and I thought, you know what? I have so much washi tape, why can't I use it to my advantage? And remember, you can put washi tape, you can make this all a page of washi tape. 
no problem. Uh, and do the same thing. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.